So in this video, I'm going to show you how to insert a nasogastric tube. Here is the supplies you'll gather for your NG tube setup. An emesis basin, a washcloth and a towel, non-sterile gloves, a tissue, a cup with water from the sink and a bendy straw, lubricating jelly, tape, a 60cc syringe with a blunt tip, a measuring cup, pH paper, and your NG tube. The first thing we're going to do is check our order and verify that it's correct. We're going to gather our supplies and enter the room. So knock, wash my hands. Hello, my name is Ms. Conley. I'm going to be your nurse today. I'm going to check your ID. Can you tell me your name and your date of birth, please? Okay, thank you. I'm going to provide for privacy. You're going to pull the curtain. Today I'm going to put in an NG tube. That's what your doctor's ordered to help decompress your stomach and get some of that fluid off and it'll help you breathe easier as well if we relieve some of the fluid that's there in your belly. First thing I'm going to do is raise your head of your bed and I'm going to ask you a few questions. Have you had a history of any nasal surgeries? Have you ever had a deviated septum? Do you have any nasal polyps? And let's determine which nair we want to go in. I'm just going to take a look with my pen light. Okay, could you include one side of your nose and breathe in and the other side? And I may ask you to blow your nose. Okay. And could you breathe in and out of both sides and tell me which side feels more clear to you? Okay, we'll use your right nair to put in the NG tube. Can you also swallow? and call for me so I can check your gag reflex. Okay, great. Now, if any time during the procedure you feel uncomfortable or if you're in any pain or discomfort and you need me to pause, just raise your hand for a hand signal to let me know to pause and give you a break. I'm going to put on some non-sterile gloves. I'm going to tear my tape now. You want about four inches, four or five inches, and you're going to tear it down like this and leave about an inch at the bottom. And that's called a bifurcation. So we bifurcated our tape. We're going to just tape it right here where I can get to it easily. Tear one more piece off. That's about three inches long and put that right next to it. And one more piece that's gonna help secure the tube afterwards. We have all of our tape torn. Now you're going to uh, measure your tube. So you're going to do the next measurement from the nose to the earlobe Hold it there all the way to the xivoid process. And then you're going to mark that spot either with a piece of tape or with a sharpie. A sharpie is a little bit easier. So make a mark so you know how far down to put the tube. And I'm just going to set this over here for a second. You want to prepare the patient with a towel. a washcloth and an emesis basin. You also have your cup of water ready with a bendy straw. The patient would generally hold this, but I'll have my assistant hold it for me. Take your lube and squirt it on your paper. I'm going to curl the tube up in your hand like this just so it doesn't dangle. You're going to insert the tube at an angle like this, not this way, but this way. So I'm going to lubricate the tube. Now I'm going to give the patient some instructions. I'm going to place the tube in this side of your nair. 
When I get to the back of your throat, it's gonna make you cough and gag because it is touching the gag reflex. In order to make it go down faster and smoother, I'm gonna have you tilt your head down to your chest and I'm gonna have you take very small sips of water. Don't take big gulps because that, that can make you nauseous. So very small sips and as you swallow, I'm going to advance the tube. Okay, here we go. Okay, now bend your head down to your chest and very vault small sips of water. Now I'm gonna advance the tube, swallow, swallow, about five centimeters at a time. Swallow, 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 swallow. Okay, I've got my mark, now we can relax. And if at any time she was uncomfortable or if she starts to have a lot of coughing and choking, you can pulse for a second and let the gag reflex recover and stop. Once you stop moving the tube, the gag reflex will go away. Okay, now we're going to take an alcohol pad and you will wipe the top of the nose off. Don't let go of this tube. You're gonna wipe the top of the nose off to get off any oil or sweating can dry it with a washcloth if you like to. This is where your bifurcated tape comes in. You will apply the tape on the bridge of the nose. Now, many nurses tape this differently and that's okay. This is the way I'm gonna teach you. You just wrap it down the end of the tube. Take the other side and go the opposite direction. Okay, now your tube is secure and you want to put an extra piece of tape right here across the bridge of the nose. Be careful not to put it directly on that soft tissue underneath the eyes. Next, you're going to check for placement. Take off the cap to the, to the tube, to the, um, the 60C syringe. Take off the cap. Now you're going to unconnect, disconnect this piece, it wiggles. Okay, hold, clamp this part so it doesn't come out on you. Take this part out too, like that. Insert your tube, let go. Aspirate, just a little bit, five, 10 cc's is plenty. Clamp the tube again. Pull your syringe off, clamp it back, hold your tube up here, let it sit on top there. Okay, you're going to take your fluid, check pH level, it should be less than 4. The color of the fluid and the pH should help confirm should help confirm placement, but for confirmation of the initial placement of the NG tube is an x-ray. So at this point, we would order an x-ray and have the x-ray done to confirm placement. Okay, so after we've done that, we are going to hook it up to suction if that's what's ordered. So at this point, you'll take off the blue pigtail, that's an air vent. You'll connect your suction and you'll turn it on to low intermittent suction by turning the dial. Okay? Still have it taped here and the blue pigtail should be open. So that's hooked up to suction. So now we'll get our x-ray and we're going to go document in our chart. So we're going to document the size 2 we put in and this one is a 10 French Salem sump tube, so that the size and the type. We're going to document the color of the fluid, the pH of the fluid, also what nair we put it in, if I didn't say that already, how the patient tolerated that procedure, the patient's having any pain afterwards, and if we left it uh, taped closed or if we had put it, put it on suction, and that we ordered the x-ray. After that, you are finished with your skill.